Today in the boot guy, we're gonna be deconstructing this pair of Condor Murphy tactical boots. All right. So this is my personal pair of Condor Murphy boots. I absolutely loved these boots. I didn't really expect that much out of them. I am really happy that I got a solid seven and a half months. We can call it eight months that I got out of these boots. Now, what started to happen is the sole started to crack on both boots. The other boot is much worse than this, but the sole started to crack. Though my foot was not getting wet, it's still, when anything starts to split, I'm just not comfortable walking around with that because I don't want anything going through that little tiny crack. So now we get to deconstruct this thing. Now by deconstructing this, there's a few things that I really want to see about Condor boots that I don't get to see. Is I want to see how the uppers are attached to that booty. I want to see their waterproof booty that's built into there. I want to see how this Amtec sole, how all the layers work in the sole. So I'm really hoping that I can just Basically cut this thing apart with a knife and get to all those layers and just check things out just to see what it's really going on inside there. All right, so let's get to work on these. So as always, I got a few tools that I'm gonna use. I have a Milwaukee Fastback. It's a basic utility knife that I'm gonna to use to cut the boots apart. No Exactos, no regular knives. I'm gonna use a utility knife. It's more dependable. It's got a brand new blade, so it's gonna be extremely sharp and extremely easy to work with and I'm going to be able to do a lot of finer cuts with this hopefully to not puncture the waterproof booty. Pair of pair of channel locks is always just for something to clamp and pull with so my fingers aren't in the way of the blade if I got to get close and a basic screwdriver just to get in there and wedge and open things up a little bit. And as always a camera my Fuji X Pro 2 with a 35 millimeter lens just so I can get some photographs of everything so you guys can see exactly what's going on. A nice tight shot when I get somewhere where I see something that's really important. All right? Okay. So first off, I got to set the camera to capture this stuff. I'm going to go with a real, real low f-stop. I'm going to bring my shutter speed down just so it's got some nice color. So you can see everything. All right, set. My white balance is perfect, right where I want everything to be. Okay, so now let's cut apart my pair of Murphys. All right, so what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? We're not going to need the box anymore. Box goes away. Boots. Look at those beautiful boots. These actually were as far as tactical boots go. This has probably been my favorite pair of tactical boots in a really long time. Uh, this was a great boot. It fit right out of the box. Very little break in. It was very dependable. The waterproof, this, uh, I think it's called an aqua shield is what they use. It's been a long time since I reviewed this boot. I can't remember all those fine details on it, but my feet never got wet. I was in some real water with these things. Spent some time fishing, spent some time out in the fields hunting. I love this boot. I used it as a work boot. I built two recording studios with this boot. It was an awesome boot. I am really, really happy with this boot. Um, so now that it's dead, now that we are here, right there, the sole has completely split. And it's time to it's time to retire them. First off, let's cut away. Let's cut that section away. Let's see if we can't split this sole 100%. There we go. And look how nicely that cuts. That's why we're using a fresh blade, because it just cuts right through all those layers. You can take it slow, you can take it quick. I can get down there. Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting fabric already. I feel the fabric. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. I want to see that footboard. And that's where, you get something like that in there. Peel that back a little bit. Nice. Nice. So this Amtec sole material, this is some really spongy stuff. 
Now you might think that because the sole has split, the boot's crap, but this is just nature of the beast. This is what happens with boots like this. They're gonna split. And this is actually okay for what you pay for a boot like this and the quality of everything else that goes into it. If you're using it for its intended purpose and it falls apart like this, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. All right, let's work on this upper. I'm gonna try and take this upper off right at what would normally be the welt line, which in this, it's the direct attached lines where the upper and the sole come together. I'm gonna try and cut this leather all the way around. I really wanna keep this section of the boot to itself. I wanna separate the upper from the booty. I don't know whether to leave the laces in or not. Let's get cutting. Once we get through, I'll figure that out. Now it should be pretty easy. This leather should cut nice and easy, especially with this fresh blade. And it is, it's, look at that. That's freeing up real nice, real easy, real quick. Let's see, where am I, did I go through? Oh man, I think I cut through the waterproof barrier. Maybe I didn't. Nope, nope I didn't. I did not. Oh, look at that, a lot of glue in there, that's nice. There's the zipper. Oh, there's the booty. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut away around the heel cup here. I want to cut this circumference back here, but I really got nothing to set this thing on. I want to go nice and deep so I can get into that heel cup. Let me if I just score it a little bit. Go from let's go let's take it this side let's go all the way around there maybe once i get to the other side i can just pull that thing across there is some there is some reinforcement in that toe that's a nice it's not a safety toe but it is reinforced nicely there's a hard material in there and i think that's also something that i really really liked about this boot was that they added something to that toe it just wasn't a soft piece of cardboard but you know what we might find out that it is just a soft piece of cardboard once we get down in there exactly that's what i wanted so i wanted to pull this upper apart okay so i did puncture here i did cut the waterproof barrier and i didn't want to do that but i did that and here we got the heel cup. Oh man, that's not. There's a lot of glue back here, which is probably a really good thing that there's a lot of glue back in here. Let's see if we can't get the pliers out there. There we go. Nice. Nice. That's what I like to see. Okay, so we got two layers of material here. Let me cut down to that second layer. Get through that. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at those pieces. Okay, I think we can actually probably just pull this upper right apart. That would hit that with the knife. Nice. Nice, look at that. Look at that construction in there. Okay, so you got all this paper in here to protect the waterproof barrier when they're putting these sections together through the heat process and the glue so they don't, it doesn't well up or gather there. And look at that. All right, so this is one of those things that I really want to take some close up shots of. I'm going to get right in there. Right there. Let's lighten that up just a little bit so you guys can see what I see. Nice. Okay, so this is where I cut the waterproof barrier to the inside liner. You actually get to see the liner. Let's get a nice tight shot in there. Let's fold that over so I can, you guys can see that. Real nice. Okay, so we got the upper free. I can pull this booty probably right out. So 
So there's the Amtec sole and everything that goes into making it. This stuff is pretty nice. I wonder what the hell they're using here for the heel cup. Because it's not cardboard, it's, it's a fibrous type material. This is some really nice stuff, I gotta say. I'm really impressed with that. Get to focus on that so you guys can see. It's a it's got some it's got some beef. So you know you can see how you get the you know the real protection and the shape of the boot. That's really nice. I'll take a couple close-up shots of that. You can see, see they darken this up just a little bit. All that white blowing it to the other end. That's right there. Nice. Let's get the heel cup. You can see that. That's nice. Let's see what else should we shoot here? Let me say, let's take a picture of this. You can see the barrier. You can see the layers that go into it. Let's switch this down to a different color setting. I had this set for studio work. Nice. All right, now let's get to this sole. Let's cut this sole apart. This is what I'm really interested. I want to cut this thing in half. Let me get my focus on there. Okay, so there we are. There's that sole that I want to take down in half. So I'm going to hit these lines here through the footboard, one full swipe. There you go, look at that. So there's a really nice footboard in there. I'm really impressed, really impressed on how these layers, how all this goes together. This, these different layers, how they build the upper, they build the footboard and then they put it in the mold and they injection mold this whole thing. And you got all these different awesome layers. So this top one, and it's nice and hard. All right, so you can take that right off. So this top layer is nice and hard. You probably get, you know, right at about a sixteenth of a really nice hard material. And when you're given the sole pattern, you probably get more thickness than that. And then it goes into this nice, soft, cushiony material. And totally understand on why this boot was so damn comfortable because of that. So that Amtec sole, that's a really nice, well-designed sole. And of course it's split in the major flex point, and it's split on my left leg, which is my major flex leg. When I go down into a prone position, or if I'm gonna kneel down, I always go down left leg first, so that's always gonna be the one that's gonna crack. All right, so I got the sole out of the way. Now let's look at this upper. Let's see if we can't flip this thing fully inside out. So let me unzip it. See if I can't create some space. Okay, I guess we're taking the laces out. So let's, let's pull these laces out. And like I said, this boot was waterproof. Or this boot is waterproof. I mean, it was. It still it probably still is waterproof. I mean, no way to tell now. But so people always ask, why the hell do I have things up front? Because sometimes if I can't get my boots on the boot dryer, I need to hang them upside down and I want something to hang them by. That's why I have carabiners or I tie knots in the fronts of my boots. So I have something to hang my boots by so it doesn't mess up the length of my laces. It looks like the tongue's pretty high up in there. Nice soft lining material here. Look at all those layers. Look at that, that tongue is built in all those flex layers to give it extra comfort. And this is all padding. This is all cushion, all the way across the tongue, all the way across the front. So when those laces are digging down, that's that nice padding that's coming down in there. All right, so that ain't coming apart. Let's say we find a place to cut it. We should see how this gusset is put into place. So if we were gonna do that, probably start right there. So let's... Through that, one more. Get one more slice. Is 
zippers always tear apart easy when you put it with a little strength to them. There's nothing, nothing to say that that's a faulty zipper or something. It's, they always come apart easy. And when I'm ripping things here, I'm ripping things at the seam and not ripping the materials. I'm looking for parts where they're stitching, where I know that the stitches, the stitches are always going to fail if you pull them right. Like it's just part of, you know, the, the way a sewing machine works, that there's always going to be parts that will fail if you pull them apart right. So it looks like so the waterproof membrane is this section here. This is the waterproof barrier. It's on the lower, the six inch side of this nine inch boot. So you get that much is actually waterproof. So when you think about it, when you look at the boot and you think about it there and there, that's actually where the waterproof membrane ends is right here. And then everything up in the upper part, which you would think your pants are there, you're not really standing in water that goes up to there. And it's also where the tongue is sewn up to is the waterproof point. So that's your waterproof booty. And it's nice. The inside is nice. I left the insole in there. And these are great. This was great insoles. I mean, it's one piece. It's a high resistant memory foam. So once you're in there all day, it takes on the memory of your foot. But this was really, really nice. Really happy with that. Huh. All right. So that's the whole upper. I want to take a picture of that. Just pulled apart for you guys so you can see what's going on here. All these. Throw a little light in there. Let's see, lighten that up. Nice. What we got here? Heel cup. Let's take a picture of this heel cup and how that heel cup all goes together back there. Put that over on that side. Get a really nice look at that. There we go. Let's lighten that up just a little bit. Let's speed up that shutter just a bit. Nice. Nice. All right. That was good. That was really good. So, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. The deconstruction of a tactical boot, a Condor Murphy 9 inch in desert tan waterproof built with the Amtec sole and I gotta say I'm impressed these parts heel the toe cup the way the waterproof barrier is all nicely taped together and it's just is it isn't just like they used a little bit of tape they really taped this together really well this is for the price of Condor boots I gotta say I'm really impressed with the way they put this thing together when you deconstruct it and you put, look at it from the inside out and you take it apart. Really, really impressed with this boot. So, hey, thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below because you know it really helps out. And if you got any questions, if you got any old boots and you wanna watch them get cut apart here on the Boot Guy Reviews, hey, shoot me over an email, send me those boots and let me cut them apart. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy who's deconstructing boots. I'll see you later.